B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus B. 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 so much fun. Best education for you and everyone. So come along. Learn some grammar. Hey. Learn a phrase. Learn something new every day. Learn the A plus away. Hello everyone and welcome to the show. I'm Mike. And Celine. And today, Celine, we're talking about one of my favorite things in the world these days, eating out in a nice oh. restaurant. Well, okay. you know, once in a while, it's nice to go out to yes, a good yes. restaurant. A nice meal with friends. Yeah, on special occasions. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. But sometimes those uh, restaurant experiences don't turn out quite as well as you'd hoped.、Mm -hmm. I had one. It was a few years ago, but I will always remember this. I went to my local、uh, Biandang kind of lunchbox okay, place. Okay, so it's in Taiwan. It was in Taiwan,、oh. and I'd gone there many times. It was a family run. You know,、oh. the husband and wife, and sometimes the daughters were there. And、oh. I got some food, and I. Brought it home and I was all ready to eat my lunch and I looked in the meal and there was a dead cockroach. Okay, in my the, the food. worst. The it worst was、experience. pretty bad and、oh. so I was hungry and I didn't have a lot of time and I started to think maybe I'll just kind of eat around the cockroach and then I thought. No, no, this don't is do that. real. This is not a hair. This is a dead cockroach. So I took it back to the store.、Uh -huh. I didn't want to embarrass them, so I kind of called the lady over. Come here, come here. And I said, "Ooh!" And she was a. a oh, she was shocked and horrified, and she、oh. ran off and made me a new lunchbox. But I was kind of like. No, that's okay. I think I'll go to the Seven <laughs> Eleven today. Anyway,、yeah. so that was fine. The、mm -hmm. funny thing was, two days later, I went home for a long holiday. Okay. I didn't go back to that restaurant for almost a month. For a month. Yeah. So you always, I mean, you ate there.、A、I、lot. ate there quite frequently,、oh, okay. but this time I just disappeared. I wasn't there for、huh. a month. So finally, when I came back to Taiwan, I went back there. I think the lady. She thought I was just not eating there. She didn't know I was on holiday. Yeah, of course. So when I finally came back, I think she was happy that I was coming back to、mm -hmm. give them another chance. She gave me the biggest lunchbox <laughs> you have ever seen. She was putting chicken and pork and veg. She was pushing the top down because there was so much in there. I can imagine that. I think it was her way of saying thank you for giving us another chance. And、That's、I、so、ate、cute. there a few, you know, many other times,、mm -hmm. and I never had another problem. So there you go. I had a problem. I didn't get upset.、Mm -hmm. I just tried to help them, you know, do a better job,、yeah. and it worked out for everyone.、Yeah. So hopefully, the food there is still cockroach-free. So that was a bad experience <laughs> that kind of turned、uh -huh. into a good experience. Now, of course, I was trying to be a, be a good customer. But sometimes you might meet bad customers, or if you're in the restaurant, a bad waiter, someone、oh, who works、right. in the restaurant, can also do a bad job. So we're going to be finding out about a few of these different types of situations、mm -hmm. as we check out today's article. So let's do that now. A guide to not being a difficult customer. Alvin, waiter, twenty-two. It was very busy during lunchtime. A customer asked every five minutes for his meal. He was in a hurry. Then he got very angry and left. If you are in a hurry, don't eat at a busy restaurant. Plan your time wisely. Jessica, restaurant owner, thirty-six. A lady called to reserve a table for twelve people. On the day of the reservation. They didn't show up. What's worse, we turned away two other groups of people. If you can't make it, you should call ahead to cancel. Restaurants could use those tables for other customers. Word power. Customer. Customer. This coffee shop is very popular.
so there are many customers every day. This coffee shop is very popular, so there are many customers every day. Plan, 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 planned, planned. Nina is helping her brother plan his trip to the UK. Nina is helping her brother plan his trip to the UK. Wisely, wisely. Dad gave me a good idea for spending my money wisely. Dad gave me a good idea for spending my money wisely. Cancel, cancel. We should cancel our picnic at the park. It's raining outside. We should cancel our picnic at the park. It's raining outside. 认识智慧 Reserve. Reservation. Okay, so as we begin the article, we meet our first character, and this is yes, a restaurant worker, someone named Alvin, and Alvin. we read there that Alvin is a waiter, and Alvin, I guess, is twenty-two years old. Pretty young. Not twenty-two meters tall. Uh, years old. Yeah. Twenty-two kilograms. <laughs> That's very, two things. Very skinny.、Mm-hmm. He's twenty-two. He's a waiter, and his name is Alvin. Of course, the waiter is the person who will take your order、mm-hmm. and then get your food from the kitchen and bring it to your table. And Alvin says it was a very busy. It was very busy during lunchtime. Yeah, I guess、uh-huh. a lot of restaurants are busy、yeah. at lunchtime and then at dinner time. Yeah, that's why they're. Was a cockroach? That could have been maybe in your the, lunchbox. Maybe the cockroach <laughs> inspector wasn't working that day because they were too busy.、Mm. Okay, so we see that 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 Busy too, because we read a customer asked every five minutes for his meal. So this customer wanted to eat quickly and get out, but the customer wasn't willing to wait. And every、mm-hmm. five minutes, excuse me, waiter, where's my meal? Excuse me, waiter, is my meal ready yet? This That's customer, kind of annoying. it's kind of annoying because Alvin can't make the chicken cook faster. No, it just has to take some time. Anyway, so that customer. Was in a big hurry, and customer is our first word power word. This is a noun. It's a person. It's a noun, and it's spelled C U S T O M E R. Customer. All right. What is a customer? Well, a customer is basically anyone who goes into a shop or a store or some kind of business to buy things. All right. So if you're in the Seven Eleven buying a bottle of water in the morning, you are a customer. If you're in a restaurant buying a meal, you're a customer. Or if you're somewhere else buying a car, or a new pair of shoes, or some perfume for your mom. As long as you're in that business to spend your money to buy something, to get something, or to pay for a service of some kind, you are a customer. For example, the coffee shop is very popular, so there are many customers every day. I should say this coffee shop is very popular, so there are many customers every day. OK， 我们看到第一个单词 customer，、mm. 它是一个名词，那意思呢就是顾客、客人。那刚刚例句的意思就是说，这间咖啡店很受欢迎，因此每天都有很多客人。那文章继续说啦，有一名客人每五分钟，五分钟哦，就要来要他的餐点。那 ask。For something, 就是要什么，请求什么的意思。All right, the next sentence in our article tells us something we can probably guess. He、mm-hmm. was asking for his meal every five minutes, so it's no surprise to read he was in a hurry. He didn't、mm-hmm. have a lot of time to waste eating lunch. Yeah, he need to eat it quickly. Go go go. Yep. 他在赶时间呢、哦。那 in a hurry 就是赶时间的意思。Hurry 相关的片语你可能也很常听到，像是 hurry up。但是 in a hurry 里面的 hurry 是名词，那 hurry up 则是当做动词来使用哦。
All right. So most people, I guess, would just you know complain a bit and then、yeah. maybe just wait for their food, but not this customer. It says then he got very angry and left. He、oh. di- he didn't wait for his food. He might have said some angry words like, "I don't have all time. I don't have all day for this. I gotta go." And he just got up and walked out of the restaurant without getting his food. He should have gone to a Seven Eleven instead. Yeah, if he was in that much of a hurry. And、yeah. also, I wonder if he paid for the food. Because they're making it,、uh-huh. and just because he can't wait for it doesn't mean they should do it all for free.、Mm-hmm. Anyway, so I think so, it didn't pay. But you're, yeah, that's a good point.、Mm-hmm. If you don't have time, don't go to a restaurant. Go to a a fast food restaurant、mm-hmm. or a convenience store or something、that's、like that. That's right. Anyway, he didn't want to wait. Hmm. 接着这个客人呢，就气扑扑的离开了。他非常的生气 All right. So here's the advice from our next sentence. If you are in a hurry, don't eat. At a busy, busy restaurant, if you don't have、mm-hmm. time to spend waiting for food, don't go to a restaurant where you have to wait for food.、Yeah. Don't eat at a busy restaurant. Go、yeah. to somewhere else. Yeah, especially those with lines in front of it. Yes. Don't do it. <laughs> That's right. 接下来呢，就是建议啦。如果你在赶时间的时候，该怎么做呢 ？If you are in a hurry, 那就不要在繁忙的餐馆用餐啦。那这边的 busy 是在讲地方，我们可以解释成繁忙的、热闹的。那除了文章的 busy restaurant， 我们也可以说这个路上。熙来攘往，很热闹，也就是 busy road. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And here's a bit of advice, not just for lunch or going to restaurants, but、mm-hmm. for lots of things that you do. Plan your time wisely. All right.、Mm-hmm. Plan your time wisely, or think carefully about how much time you have. I'd say if you're going to a restaurant with waiters and stuff,、mm-hmm. don't go unless you have at least thirty minutes. Right. Yeah. Just maybe. Go there at your dinner time, maybe. That's right.、Mm-hmm. Or go there on a day when you're not so busy. But、mm-hmm. if you have only ten or fifteen minutes, definitely don't go to one of those wait、uh, restaurants where there's waiters and you have to wait for food. Yeah, 聪明的你，聪明的你要聪明的规划你的时间哦。嗯哼。So plan your time wisely. That's our advice. And plan is another word power word. This is a verb and it's spelled P L A N. Plan. So yeah, as I mentioned, to plan your time is to think carefully about the time you have, so that you don't waste time. But we can plan lots of other things. We plan things when basically we don't want to make mistakes. We want to do something, make sure it goes well. Maybe what we're trying to do is a little bit difficult, a little bit complicated. So to plan is to kind of prepare before you do it. To make sure that you've thought of everything, everything's ready, and when you start to do what you're trying to do, you make no mistakes, you waste no time. We plan things like holidays, right? You don't just go to the airport and go, hmm, where am I going today? No, you would buy your plane tickets weeks or months before. Organize your hotel, maybe even buy tickets for things you want to do on holiday in that country. You do all this days or weeks, as I said, or months before you plan it, so that when you're on holiday, everything's easy. It's all been planned. For example, Nina is helping her brother plan his trip to the UK. Nina is helping her brother plan his trip to the UK. I hope it goes smoothly. 好，我们看到第二个单词是 plan。plan 在文章里呢是当做动词来使用，意思是规划、计划。那例句的意思呢，就是说 Nina 正在帮她的弟弟计划去英国的旅行哦。嗯、mm, ，Are you good at planning things like holidays before you go? I'm kind of bad at it. You're kind of bad at it. Because I'm a little bit lazy. Yeah, well, that's the thing. <laughs> If you're gonna plan it, you do have to sort of get organized, get busy mm, before. Mm. And you can't be lazy about it. But if、no. you do decide to plan things, if you do want to be careful, plan well. Or we could also say, like in the sentence, plan wisely. All right, wisely is another word power word. This is an adverb. That's why we see that l y at the end. That kind of tells you it's an adverb, and it's spelled w i s e l y. Wisely. All right. When we were talking about planning things, I used this word carefully. When you plan carefully, it's just about the same as when you plan wisely. Okay, doing it carefully or doing something wisely means you take your time at it. You use your experience and knowledge so that you don't make 
any mistakes. If you're planning things wisely, you'll start early, you'll take it step by step, you will try not to forget anything. And if you do things like that wisely or carefully, then when you actually go out to do it, so you go out to take your trip, you have no problems, there's no mistakes, nothing bad happens because you planned it all very wisely. For example, dad gave me a good idea for spending my money wisely. Dad gave me a good idea for spending my money wisely. He said that buying 5,000 chocolate bars would not be a good idea. Hmm. Okay, 我们看到同一句话里面呢，还有个单字叫做 wisely.、Mm. Wisely. 有没有一看就觉得，哎，这是不是副词？没错，它就是 wise， 是形容词，意思是明智、明智的、聪明的。那加上 ly 以后呢，那就会变成是副词了。那所以例句的意思就是说，爸爸给了我一个如何聪明花钱的好主意哦。Mm. All right. So earlier we met、uh, Alvin, right? Yeah, Alvin, yeah. the waiter. He was talking about this busy customer who couldn't wait for his food. Next,、mm-hmm. we meet Jessica. Now, Jessica also works in a restaurant, but in this case, it says she's a restaurant owner. She's the boss. It's her restaurant, so、mm-hmm. she might be a chef or whatever. But the point is, she's the manager too. She's the boss、mm-hmm. of the restaurant. Says、so、she's thirty-six years old. Now, here's what happened with her. She says a lady called to reserve a table for twelve people. All right, so a lot of people were coming to the restaurant, and this lady, this customer, called maybe a day before and said, "I'd like to eat lunch or dinner there, but I'm bringing twelve people." So she needs、That's、a big a table, and she just wants to make sure there will be enough space. For all of her friends. Yeah, that that's reasonable. Yeah,、mm-hmm. sure. Twelve people. That's a lot. Yeah. 接下来分享的呢是一位 restaurant owner， 就是餐厅的老板。她叫 Jessica， 三十六岁哦。她说一名女士打来预留这个十二人的桌桌位。那一桌十二人呢，我们就可以说 a table for twelve people。那两人的桌位怎么说呢？我们可以说呃 a table for two。那 reserve 就是。定位和预留的意思是一个动词哦。All right, so this customer had called a, a day or two earlier、mm-hmm. and said, you know, on Wednesday we'll be there at lunchtime with twelve people. All、yeah. right, so the restaurant owner Jessica she wrote that down, but then things went a little wrong. It says on the day of the reservation <gasps> they didn't show up. So on that day, let's say it is Wednesday at lunchtime. There's Jessica waiting for the twelve people. They said they'd be here at one o'clock,、mm-hmm. but nobody's here. They didn't show up. They didn't come when they said they would. How can they do that? It's really rude. That's right. Very rude. Yeah. In 定位当天哦，他们竟然都没有出现。Res- reservation 呢，就是刚刚这个动词 reserve， 就是预留定位的名词型。那这一行十二个人竟然都没有现身 ，show up。就是出现现身的意思。Yeah, that's not cool. I mean, sometimes things happen, right? Maybe、mm-hmm. some of the friends got sick or got busy, but, but you can call yeah, back. Yeah, at least you have to call. That's right.、Mm-hmm. I'm that lady. We were supposed to come tomorrow. Sorry, we have to cancel. That's、mm-hmm. easy, you know, no problem. And what's worse, we read for Jessica, the owner of the restaurant. What's worse, or the even more bad、mm-hmm. thing? What's worse? We turned away two other groups of people. So she lost money, kind of twice here. The、mm. the, the original twelve didn't come, and while the, she was waiting for them, some other people came. Can we eat lunch here? We have a big group. And Jessica's like,、oh, I'm sorry, we're expecting twelve、mm-hmm. people in ten minutes. We don't have space. And then of course, ten minutes later, the, they didn't, the, show, they didn't up. show up. So she lost that business. And then she lost the business that just walked in that that day.、It's、so bad. Yeah. So that's tough. I mean, for a business owner,、mm-hmm. losing that much money in one day is not easy to do, and it's not good. Yeah. Many of the owners I know, like they will post this experience on their Facebook、really? page. Really? Yeah. They will do the way they shame the customers. Sort of. I guess you <laughs> maybe could. I don't know if that's good business, but I understand、uh-huh. their feelings.、Yeah. Okay. 更糟的是呢，我们还把两组客人请走了。如果你觉得前面已经很糟糕，原来还有呢，那这时候呢，我们就可以使用 What's worse 这个转成词来表示更糟的是什么什么。那 Turn away 这个动词片语意思就是说请人离开，不让别人入内，就是不要进来啊、哦！天哪
Jessica 的店损失惨重哎。All right, so here's what we mentioned earlier.、Mm-hmm. If you can't make it, or if you're in this situation, if you can't make it,、mm-hmm. you should call ahead to cancel. That's right. Call before. Don't call one minute before. You should be there. Call, you know, an hour or two, or the day before, or something like、mm-hmm. that. But do let the people in the restaurant know, so that then if other people come, they can let them in. 对啊，要是你会怎么做呢？我一定会打电话去跟他说取消定位啊。So、if you can't make it， 就是说你如果没办法准时到达的话，你应该要在事前打电话去取消。Ahead 是副词，那表示在什么之前？这边表示的呢，就是在预约时间到以前啊、哦。And this isn't just for restaurants. You know, if we're gonna meet for a movie、mm-hmm. and I can't make it. I should definitely call you before,、mm-hmm. and not just leave you standing at the movie theater with the tickets. Like, Where, where's Mike? When's he gonna show up? <laughs> call to cancel.、Uh-huh. Things happen. It's okay. Say sorry. You know, say we'll try to do it again in the future. But definitely do let them know. Definitely call to cancel. Cancel is a verb, and it's spelled C-A-N-C-E-L. Cancel. Okay. From the way we've been talking about canceling things, you guys. Probably have an idea. If something is supposed to happen, if something has been planned or arranged or scheduled, and now it can't happen, then you will cancel that activity. If there's, for example, going to be a baseball game, but suddenly it's raining, you will cancel the baseball game. If you're planning to go to a movie on the weekend, but realize, oh, I got too much homework, I can't go, you'll call your friends to say sorry. I can't do it this weekend. I have to cancel. I have to call off or sort of erase our planned activity. For example, we should cancel our picnic at the park. It's raining outside. We should cancel our picnic at the park. It's raining outside. 好，我们看到今天最后一个 word power word 是动词 cancel， 意思呢就是取消。那例句的意思就是说，我们应该取消在公园的野餐，因为什么呢？外面正在下雨。That's right. Canceling if you can't make it is the right thing to do, and it will help the restaurant. It says restaurants could use those tables for other customers. That's right. Jessica wouldn't have turned away those other customers if the first ones had canceled. 餐厅呢，还可以把这些桌位给其他客人坐，所以一定要打电话。All right, well now it's time for us to go to the magic box. Sorry, it's not cancelled. And then we'll be back to wrap things up. Magic box, 找亮点。Hello， 我是 Casey。如果要说英文里面最不想听到一句话 ，Casey， 我自己觉得就是 Hurry up， 快一点。像是 hurry up or we'll miss the train. Hurry up or we'll miss the train. 快一点，不然我们就要赶不上火车了。我也知道快一点，我也想啊，不要再催我了。通常这个 hurry up 片语里面的 hurry 这个动词呢，就有加快、催促的意思。后面可以直接加上不定词 to v， 表示赶快去做某一件事情。举个例子 ，The phone rang and David hurried to answer it. The phone rang and David hurried to answer it. 电话响了 ，David 赶快去接。或者是 We were hurrying to catch the last train. We were hurrying to catch the last train. 我们加快脚步赶上末班车，真的是令人压力很大的一个字。另外呢 ，hurry 除了以上动词的用法之外，它也可以当做名词哦，表示匆忙、仓促的意思。常搭配的片语是 be in a hurry。像是 Are you in a hurry to leave? Are you in a hurry to leave? 你有在赶时间，你急着走吗？或者是有时候你可能会跟对方说，慢慢来，我不着急。这时候你就可以这么说 ，I'm not in any hurry. I'm not in any hurry. 或者是 There's no hurry. There's no hurry. 像像是这一句 ，You can give the books to me sometime when you visit. There's no hurry. You can give the books to me sometime when you visit. There's no hurry. 你来的时候再把书还我就好，不急啦。这算是口语上蛮实用的片语，快点学起来吧。一起来练习看看以下的小测验，该怎么说？因为我在赶时间，所以我现在得走了。小提示：试试看用 hurry 当名词的用法哦。The answer is. I'm in a hurry, so I have to leave now. 你答对了吗 ？Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽。
All right, so in our very brief review time here, we're、mm -hmm. going to look at the four words we had for word power words: customer, plan, wisely, and of course, cancel was the final one. Now I'm not going to say the word; I'm going to say a definition, like what the dictionary would say、uh -huh. for that word, and you're going to try to guess the word. Okay. All right. So、yeah. I was working in a store, and a man came in with money who wanted to buy things. That's a customer. A customer is a man or a woman who wants to come into the store to buy、mm -hmm. things. That's right. But unfortunately, the thing he wanted to buy was actually it was a it was a camping trip. He wanted to pay for it, but because it would snow on the weekend, that、ah. activity was called off. That activity was canceled. That's right. It was canceled. So we decided to take a little bit of time. To prepare for the trip he would take in the future. To prepare for the thing he would do、uh, in the future. So it's plan. To plan things. Oh, great!、Wow, her answers were very good. You answered those questions very carefully and with a lot of thought. Okay, that means I'm wise.、So、That's wisely. right. You answered the questions wisely.、Yeah. There you go, guys. That I think that kind of worked. All right. Well, there you go. Word power words. Four of them. You can practice on your own. And please do remember that if you're going to a restaurant, take your time. Don't be in a rush. And certainly cancel if you can't make it.、Mm -hmm. We'll have more about this kind of stuff tomorrow. So please come back and join us for that. Till then, bye bye. Bye. A guide to not being a difficult customer. Alvin, waiter, twenty-two. It was very busy during lunchtime. A customer asked every five minutes for his meal. He was in a hurry. Then he got very angry and left. If you are in a hurry, don't eat at a busy restaurant. Plan your time wisely. Jessica, restaurant owner, thirty-six. A lady called to reserve a table for twelve people. On the day of the reservation, they didn't show up. What's worse, we turned away two other groups of people. If you can't make it, you should call ahead to cancel. Restaurants could use those tables for other customers. Customer. Customer. This coffee shop is very popular, so there are many customers every day. This coffee shop is very popular, so there are many customers every day. Plan. 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 Planned. Planned. Nina is helping her brother plan his trip to the UK. Nina is helping her brother plan his trip to the UK. Wisely, wisely. Dad gave me a good idea for spending my money wisely. Dad gave me a good idea for spending my money wisely. Cancel, cancel. We should cancel our picnic at the park. It's raining outside. We should cancel our picnic at the park. It's raining outside. 认识智慧 Reserve. Reservation.